By the way, the podium, the man who is outgoing from LMEM, but celebrating 100 races for LMEM. And we've still got Bahrain to go, of course, as well. Right, the highlights for the event, which uh, really did start in very different conditions. This was the moment that Phil Hansen was talking about a moment or two ago as he jumped over the sausage curb, loads of opposite lock, try and leave the car through and onto the track, but he couldn't rescue the moment and he had to go through the gravel instead, which would rip a uh, important part of the rear part of the car off and that would need to be replaced. Also, uh, some contact between the Graf, Alexandre Cugnot driven P2 and Roman Rusinov. This was a, a clumsy moment in LMP3 on the opening lap as well, left James Dacent in the gravel at Curva Grande and a couple of other LMP3 cars had to go straight on through the stones as well. Then a collision at the restart, Nicolas Jamain to the back of Jonathan Hershey. The Porsche of Christian Reed needed to go straight on at the second chicane, and that's the right way of doing it around the bollard, skipping over the sausage curb to rejoin. It left Duncan Cameron out front in the GTE category. The 55 Ferrari would eventually finish fourth having his hands full, Jonathan Hershey at the end of the straight into Parabolica. He did so well to mop up that tank slapper. We then had pit stoppers in LMP2 and dicing as well for the lead in LMP3, including for Euro International. That car started by Jacopo Barato. And after the Roman Rusinov car ended up on the sausage curb, the 26 car needed urgent work to replace its radiator. They never did get to the bottom of that at G-Drive and it became our second retirement finishing the race 51 laps down and therefore will not be classified in the result. Was though the fastest car in the race from Mikkel Jensen. A double clash between the number three United Auto Sports car and the 60 Ferrari of Sergio Pianazzola. That was Jim Maguire judged to be at fault for that incident. And uh, after that point, the three car had to work its way back up the order, carrying substantial damage. Porsche into the pits from the lead of the race at the time, Alessio Piccariello, but that left the 74 Kessel Racing Ferrari out front. And then two moments virtually identical, a spin first of all for Garrett Grist as a result, but that's the Euro International, that's the Inter-Europol competition car, I beg your pardon, with the first of two engine covers stripped from the car at high speed. And bizarre moments, the first coming at the end of the straight into the Parabolica, the other one under the bridge just before Ascari. Race winning in GTE, Kessel Racing with their 74 Ferrari. A win, of course, for the 22. Phil Hansen and Philly Parabaker at United Autosports Car. They take the championship, and it was into Europol competition. Dino Lenardi and Martin Hipper, who were victorious for the first time this year in LMP3. To the shoulders of Phil Hansen and Philippe Albuquerque, but we cannot forget the team behind those two as well in terms of preparing the cars. It's another one-two finish for the Yorkshire-based United Order Sports. Very much a, an Anglo-American jointly owned team, though, Richard Dean and Zach Brown. And the two cars finish just three seconds apart. Dragon Speed, uh, a close fight for third, but it's Dragon Speed just about by a nose ahead of High Class Racing and Cool Racing. And Panis Racing finish in sixth. In LMP3, a first win of the year for Inter Europol competition, Dino Lunardi and Martin Hipper, Nico Kari for Euro International finish in second place and that was a very tight finish as well for Nico Kari who finished just 62 thousandths of a second ahead of a chasing Wayne Boyd for United Order Sports in number two. David Drew and Esteban Garcia back up their win at Paul Ricard with a fourth place finish here at Monza and in GTE it's Kessel Racing, David Perel Michel Bronozhevsky and Nikki Kadai in 74, finishing ahead of the 77 Porsche of Alessio Picariello and his teammates Christian Reed and Michele Beretta. Third, Michel Gatting, Manuela Gosner and Rahel Fry.